welcome to another episode of Take Ification. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at video gaming performance on the new Ivy Bridge 13-inch MacBook Pro. This MacBook Pro has a 2.5 GHz i5 dual core with hyperthreading, so four threads, four gigs of RAM, a 5400 RPM drive, hard drive, Intel HD 4000 graphics, and the screen resolution is 1280 by 800. Now the the uh, HD 4000 graphics are supposed to be 60% better than the previous generation 3000 graphics on the Sandy Bridge. So the benchmarks that I will be running on this machine are Real Racing 2, Cinebench, so that's the single core CPU, the multi core CPU, and the GPU test or OpenGL, Unigine Heaven, and Plants vs. Zombies. Let's get started. So, I finished my testing. So the this model got in Unigine Heaven got 398 points with a average frame rate of 15.8 frames per second and a minimum frame rate of 8.3 and a maximum frame rate of 28.1. In Cinebench, the on the OpenGL or GPU test, it got 17.76 frames per second. The CPU, so the multi-core one, got 2.83 points, and the single core got 1.18 points. Um, for the single CPU, it was it actually outperforms the i7-860, which got 1.13, and it was just under the Intel Xeon W5590, which got 1.2. And for the CPU and GPU, it kind of was on its own. And so, next benchmark was Rear Racing 2. And that got 120 FPS with a minimum frame rate of 80 FPS. The In Plants vs. Zombies, it got 100 frames per second all the way across the board. And, in, and uh, the ever so popular Minecraft. I've been getting a lot of requests about how Minecraft performs on this particular notebook. Unfortunately I don't have Minecraft so I can't test it, but um, from the research that I've done, Minecraft requires a lot of RAM and a lot of, and works well with a lot of CPU cores, which is exactly what this which is exactly what the MacBook Pro has to offer. It I would expect smooth gameplay and I've seen it run well on the previous generation i5s with the Intel 3000 graphics. And like I mentioned earlier, Intel 4000 graphics on this one with Ivy Bridge are supposed to be 60% better. So good luck to all you Minecraft players. And um, so as a in conclusion, I would never uh, recommend this as a gaming notebook. It is by no stretch of, a, of the imagination a gaming notebook. But if you want to do a little bit of light gaming, maybe some, maybe take it to school, and a little bit of video editing then it's a perfect notebook for you. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.